Happy Monday. It is time for Mailbag Monday with my beautiful, where I write down all the questions that you send me and then I answer them. Before we get started, I do need to remind you, I am not a doctor. I am a nutrition educator. I do not treat, diagnose, or prescribe. And I also want to remind you that I am not your personal wellness professional. So if you ask me a question that would require that level of interaction, I'm happy to work with you. I'm I'm happy to support you, but I cannot do that in this forum. Okay, so we are going to get started. And our first question is salt. Is salt really bad for you and how much should I have? That's a great question. Salt is actually not that bad for us unless you're someone who has extreme hypertension or there's something else going on where you have to limit your salt intake. We actually need a certain amount of salt. It helps us to produce hydrochloric acid, which helps digest what's going on in our system. So that's important. I do believe that regular iodized table salt is not a good choice. The form of iodine that is in that is not the best, most bioavailable form for us. If you happen to need iodine, then I encourage you to look at iodine-rich foods which would be things like seafoods or seaweed. And you can also take iodine supplements. I would not add iodine supplements without talking with your doctor and doing some testing to figure out how much you need. How much salt do you need? Well, I that depends on how your personal body happens to handle it. I think for a lot of people, adding a little bit of salt to our food to season it, to make it more flavorful is not a bad thing. If you have concerns about the amount of salt that you're consuming, then I do encourage you to work with somebody and to figure that out. But salt is not, in my opinion, bad. As a matter of fact, a no salt diet is not good for us. If we don't have enough salt, then our electrolyte levels can go down and that can actually be really not great for us. It's seriously challenging. Hey, pork. So this says, we are trying to limit our red meat consumption. Should pork be considered as part of this adjustment? Pork can be a great choice. Pork is considered a white meat. So if you're trying to avoid red meats and you don't want to have just chicken or fish, you could add pork. So that's great. I do encourage people if they're adding pork to look for good quality pork. We want to make sure that it is pasture raised and we also want to make sure that it does not have added nitrates, nitrites, those kinds of things. So making sure that you're getting the best quality pork that you can. As a matter of fact, there is a company that I like a lot. I'll put the link down below. They do have free range pork and they do not add anything to it. So I'll make sure that I put that down there for you if you want to look into that. And then the last question that I have is cup. How much is a cup in tables? And that's actually a great question. We do a form of measurement that sometimes makes it very difficult to understand how to translate from one thing to another. Uh, this is where it probably would be great if we were using metric, but we're not. <laughs> So a cup is 16 tablespoons. And just to confuse things even more, a tablespoon is three teaspoons. And if you're trying to do measurements in order to increase or decrease, to multiply or decrease a recipe, sometimes it can get a little bit challenging to know how much of what different measurement to use. I will share, I actually have something that helps with that. I have a free handout on how you measure and it's on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I encourage you to print it out, stick it on the inside of a cupboard and then you will always have the measurements there when you need them. So I'll put the link to that down below. But to answer your question, a cup is 16 tablespoons. So those are the questions for this month. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to the people who wrote in with their questions. I really love that. I, I love having these so that I can answer them for you. The link is down below. If you have a health, wellness, nutrition question that you would like answered by me, the ingredient guru, I am going to put the link down below. I encourage you to fill out your questions and share. 
Thanks so much. And remember folks in all you do to make today a healthy day. Bye now. <laughs>